Hello, it's me again, Amy from One Untamed Shrew, and I wanted to share today a little bit about um, my understanding God, universe, source, spirit, as I like to call it, Gus. And to me, it's something that I can't even fathom. I can attempt to wrap my mind around it, but growing up, the God that was shown to me was kind of, I guess, most cases from fear and control. And that just didn't sit right with me. So I kind of rejected it because it just, you know, I couldn't accept it. So the only other alternative for me was to reject it completely. So uh, during this spiritual awakening, I'm finding that I've dismantled God and tried to reassemble what I could of the concept of Gus and it's a very very personal relationship for sure so by all means I ask you to connect more with your Gus your source than mine but I just think sharing the fact that you know it, it's a personal journey is helpful so I can shine a little light but it's your mission to really truly connect with your source and I see source like an umbilical cord um, it's just your vertical connection to source energy so that you're always in alignment with that then everything that you do from that point um, is probably just the truest path you can be on as soon as you start connecting from outside sources is kind of when you go off path but the first experience I had with connecting directly with my source was during a nap one time. And it was the most beautiful sensation. I can just tell you uh, it was the epitome of peace and calm and acceptance of everything about my existence. Uh, I was laying there thinking um, how still things felt and how calm and then I realized I was connecting with an energy, but it felt um, warm and loving and accepting. And I remember kind of having some dialogue in my head and the conversation or the dialogue was so pleasant and natural. And then, you know, I said, hey, I know I might be off track and, you know, I'm doing the best I can and, and the response I got was, of course you are and you're perfect and amazing and you're doing exactly what you're supposed to do. And you're not off course at all. You're just in alignment with what you came to experience. And I remember, you know, having this really rich, again, dialogue. But as I lay there, I just kind of said, hey, I'm really enjoying just laying here. Can I just lay in your presence and not speak? And, you know, the energy said, yeah, absolutely, sure. You know, I love when we do that. So, again, I spent most of my life limiting God, universe, source, Gus, in so many facets that, you know, of course, God can be everywhere and all at once and he can be with us in every second, you know, and maybe through his angels and maybe through another person. It's just, but always, God is like, can be and do anything. So it's just amazing to, to really, really wrap your mind around that if Gus is an energy, then energy has no limitations. It goes through walls. It, there is no time. It can be anywhere, in any moment, with any person, and is everywhere. So when you look at it like that, and you look at it like Gus is love, and I like the using Gus also because it's like God and us. So if you want to go back to the traditional God, Gus can be God and us. And... Um, I don't know, it's just it's truly magical. I mean, I'm having a bit of an existential crisis right here. So, you know, whatever your relationship is with Gus is exactly what it needs to be. And if um, you don't have an experience, that's 
probably your experience is to not have that connection right now. So, you know, you don't have to judge it either way. And someone who looks like they're having it uh, really not the right, you know, connection with God is really probably just what they're supposed to be doing. So I guess if I learned anything from my nap with Gus was that it is like it, it, there was so much acceptance from that source of energy and there was so much love and there was so much like everything was as it should be and always is. So I don't know, it was a pretty amazing moment and it wasn't in a church and it wasn't, um, you know, uh, in some sort of ceremony or anything like that. It was just me during my nap. So anyway, I just wanted to share that with you. And if you find some insight, great. Um, if you don't, that's okay too. So love you. Have a great day. And that's today's share.